Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, uh, Mr. Goff and Mr. Dorman, for being here. Um, nuclear energy provides the clean, reliable, affordable power this country needs. I know the importance of our nuclear sector firsthand with nuclear plants on both uh, Lake Michigan and Lake Erie shores in my district. Uh, but the current licensing and regulatory processes for new projects, upgrading current reactors, and maintaining and operating our existing fleet is just too onerous. Uh, we must update the government's processes. Uh, Mr. Dorman, um, my draft legislation, the Nuclear Advisory Committee Reform Act, uh, aims to speed up the licensing processes uh, through reforms to the Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards. What's the role, first, of the Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards, and second, what kind of licensing actions do they participate in and how often do they, they participate? Uh, Congressman, the, the Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards is a group of independent experts hired by the Commission who report to the Commission uh, and they provide an independent review of the work that the staff does in its licensing. Uh, they generally participate in any new license, renewed license, uh, and other significant licensing actions. S significant uh, uh, work that they have to do and um, needs to be done well, but as, as efficiently as possible. As I mentioned before, um, the nuclear community has suggested that the NRC implement a more efficient process for reviewing the power up rate license amendment applications consistent with NRC's practice as recently as a decade ago. Additionally, uh, where nuclear operators are interested in pursuing multiple levels of uprate, the NRC should consider approaches to streamline the license amendment applications so that an operator can submit the necessary technical reviews once instead of having to prepare redundant applications and costs. So, Mr. Dorman, with over two gigawatts of new clean energy capacity available from potential uprates, What's the NRC doing to reverse the trend of longer and more costly uprate reviews? Uh, Congressman, we have not had uprate reviews for a number of years. Uh, and so we know that from the, the incentives in the Inflation Reduction Act that the industry is actively looking at power uprate applications that we're expecting based on the feedback we're getting in uh, late 25 into 26. Uh, so we are looking at our uprate processes and and uh, looking at how we can gain efficiencies in those reviews as they ways to streamline. And, yes, sir. Uh, Dr. Goff, um, a recent study by the University of Michigan found that uh, the, the premature closure of the Palisades nuclear power plant just north of my district will have an adverse economic impact on the region of more than two hundred and fifty million dollars annually. Uh, as I said before, it will also address the critical needs for base load generation in our state. Republicans and Democrats uh, came together in Michigan to fund reopening of the plant, and now the decision lies with the DOE. Uh, do you have any updates on those efforts? This is a cone of silence in the room as well, so be, be <laughs> frank. Well, first, I commend those efforts. I, I, we want to keep plants on, up and operational online. Uh, this would be a first time we would you know, restart a license on that. Uh, but those, we, we commend the, the actions that have been taken by in Michigan on trying to move forward on that, and we're still assessing, I guess, what can be done as far as the, the, the different options out there. Well, assess well, I assess efficiently, uh, and don't waste any time. Yes. Um, energy is needed, and right now, um, I think there's a bipartisan support level that we haven't seen before on nuclear power um, for all sorts of reasons, mm -hmm. including uh, climate, environmental concerns, et cetera. So yeah. thank you. We'll keep watch. Uh, I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Yeah.